Hello friends, Jenkins Doty here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing an audio-only video. I'm just kidding, that doesn't make any sense. But, we are going to be talking about why you should be playing Dota with the sound on, why you shouldn't be listening to music while playing Dota if you want to play optimally. However, I do want to say before getting into it, if you listen to music and that's your way of chilling while playing Dota, I have absolutely nothing against it. I do that sometimes if I'm tilted. That's an excellent way to untilt yourself and remain calm. However, with that being said, it does hinder your gameplay, and here's why. Number one, you can hear items being dropped in the base at the location of the hero that's dropping the item and not in the base itself. So to give you an example of this, let's say we're Invoker, we want to purchase a Null Talisman, and we move our camera to the base to try to hear it being dropped, and we drop it. I'll do it again because I was talking. We don't hear a thing. However, if I move the camera and center it on the invoker and we drop it, you can hear it as if the item is being dropped on invoker himself. So this is something that applies to allies and enemies and the sound is quite loud. Like you can hear it from a decent amount away uh, and it's probably a bug, but nonetheless, it's still very important to hear this in the current laning meta. And the reason for this is because typically in the current meta, the mid lane gets 90% of the courier usage thanks to mostly Sue mail, but nonetheless, the side lanes, they don't get to use a lot of the courier. So this is something that supports and side laners in general have made up for by fighting a lot in the side lanes, dying, going back to base, and bringing regen in for their cores, or maybe even if you're a very generous core, bringing regen for your support uh, from base, essentially acting as a courier with your hero. And the reason that it's important to hear these sounds is because if you know that an anti-mage, for example, has been farming in the lane for one to two minutes, you know that it's very likely this guy is not going to send out two Wraith Bands, because that's too much farm in two minutes time. However, if you're listening and you hear him drop three items after his Lich dies, you know that he's probably sending out a Wraith Band or a component that builds into Wraith Band, and then maybe two salves, or a tango, and then a salve. Like, you know that this guy is sending out three little bits of items, probably two of those if he's low and doesn't have any regen, or regen. So essentially, if you don't have this audio cue on, if you can't hear this sound, you're missing information about the enemy team's regen in the lanes. And this is very important if you're deciding whether or not you want to dive somebody. Are they going to have a salve when that support comes back? Do you want to continue harassing them or do you want to cut the creep wave? Like these are decisions that you can make based on these audio cues. Number two, there are a plethora of spells and items in Dota that are incredibly important to know that they're being used that you'll hear but you won't see very frequently. So to give you an example, a couple of examples, we have the red techies mines. A lot of the time, you'll run into these, they'll be in fog, you won't be able to see them, but you'll be able to hear them. And as long as you know they're there, you can easily avoid them. So for example, of course. you hear the noise and you walk away. Very simple. But if you don't have your audio on, of course, you're not going to hear it. It's going to explode. You're going to be mad. Techies is going to get a triple kill. Yes. So a couple of other very important examples, arguably the most important one in maybe the current meta, is Monkey King. This hero is very strong. If he jumps on a tree, you can't see him, and he jumps off. You can hear this, but you can't see it until he hits the ground. And when he hits the ground, he might kill you. <laughs> if you hear it, and you know that there's a creep wave that he's about to jump on, you can preemptively set up to kill him on that creep wave. That happens quite frequently, but you have to have the audio on to hear that cue. So another pretty important example, arguably the most important if the meta wasn't so surrounding Monkey King right now, is Smoke of Deceit. So a lot of the time, you'll have somebody who's farming in an adjacent lane to wherever the smoke occurs. And let's say I move my camera so I can't see the wisp. So I'm hearing the audio from this location here and wisp smokes. As long as it's in vision, you'll hear it. So a very common thing, like I said, is somebody will be farming a lane. Enemy team will walk into vision. They'll smoke super quickly. Nobody will know what happened except for the person that's farming that lane. They'll say, okay, the enemy team smoked. Be careful. So another very common example of why it's important to have audio cues on is Pudge. This hero, for some reason, is dismember, gives a global audio cue that pierces through vision. So let's say I dismember this, and I blink away so I can't see him. 
I can hear him. This is usually an indicator that the Pudge team is roaching or that the Pudge is being useless and farming jungle somewhere. In either case, it's giving you important information on the map, especially because Pudge is a ganking hero, and if you know that he's dismembering something, he's not killing anybody and everybody can feel safe. So it's important information that you can only hear if you can if you can hear it, if you're if you've your audio on. And then finally, to give you one last example, we have Wisp Relocate. If this is in vision, you can hear it, and typically this is something you want to blink away from very quickly. It's got a huge radius to it. It's not global, but it's it's quite large. So let's say I have my camera over here and I relocate to the lane. You can hear it loud and clear. So a lot of the time this is a cue that players will use to blink away from the wisp or run away from the wisp because before you can look down to the bottom left to see the minimap, to, to see where the wisp is relocating to, you can hear them. Number three, in Dota, there are plenty of cues that are audio that tell you that you should essentially move your camera to a new location of wherever that audio is coming from, but you won't see anything that indicates that you should move your camera. And this, in my opinion, is pretty cool because this is kind of how senses work in life. Like, you have audio, so you can hear things behind walls. You have smell, so you can smell things that you couldn't see because they're blocked. Like, you have different senses for different things. And in Dota, generally, you're going to hear things before you see them because the range of the audio cue is going to be larger than the radius of vision that something gives, so it's, it's less likely to be on your camera than it is to be in audio range. So essentially, if you hear like, you know, Legion Commander using, here, let's see, I'll move my camera down here, over here, and you hear Legion Commander use the spell. You know that there's probably a fight that started, or at the very least, there's a there's a Legion Commander in that lane. Wherever you are adjacent to, there's a Legion Commander there. If you hear a TP scroll, so let's say I have my camera down here, so I'm, I'm looking at the lane. Let's say the creep wave is here and I'm farming, and I hear a TP because it's in vision. So I'll click on Legion Commander here, and uh, TP her to the tower, but not keep her in vision. You can still hear it. So essentially, like, you can get information, if you get a, a slight glimpse of somebody TPing to lane, which happens a lot in the laning stage, you can know that there's an extra hero there, that you're essentially getting ganked, but you're not going to see it a lot of the time because your camera is going to be on the creep wave. Number four, there are a lot of sounds that you can hear in Dota that are essentially going to indicate to you the enemy team is about to start a fight where you simply do not have the time to move your camera and look before you react. So, for example, if you hear a Legion Commander use Press the Attack, which you'll hear a lot because she'll come into vision briefly, especially if she has a Shadow Blade, you know that she's about to blink duel somebody. Sometimes you don't have time to actually locate where she is, and you just need to blink away. So that's why you need to hear it. And another common example of when a hero is about to start a fight where you'll briefly see them and you'll hear it before you see them is Sand King. If Sand King is epicentering and you can hear it, you know, all right, everybody split. Sand King's epi. That's important information to portray to your team very quickly without actually moving your camera and seeing that he's epicentering it. Also, it's very obvious when these heroes, when you hear that sound, what's about to happen. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in another video.